The situation at the U.S. border is something that you will hear a lot about throughout this year and as the Republicans seek to take back Congress in the midterm elections. Last year, Border Patrol encountered nearly 2 million migrants trying to enter the U.S. Our Washington correspondent Joe St. George explains how many have been sent back and how many remain and who's in charge of taking care of the ones who stick around. As the country debates immigration, it's important to remember that people die trying to come here. This memorial is on the side of the road in Holtville, California, about 10 miles from the Mexican border. 13 migrants who were being smuggled in a car died in a crash here last year. Crosses, names, now reminders of the dangerous journey. Another reminder is less than a mile from the site, a John and Jane Doe cemetery for the remains of unidentified migrants whose bodies were found near the southern border. Remembering those lost is important context when discussing the migrant surge. Last year, there were around 1.9 million arrests by Border Patrol. That's a record. And while some tried to cross multiple times, around 1 million were immediately expelled. The others, 400,000 or so, are here in the United States awaiting hearings. Once a migrant is apprehended by Border Patrol and they are processed, if they're not sent back to Mexico, or to another country right away, they're allowed to stay in the U.S. for the moment. And the first place they go are makeshift shelters like this. This is the Catholic Charities donation room. And that's where you find men and women like Roy Mendenhall. Nonprofits like Catholic Charities are often tasked by state and federal governments to help migrants who are permitted to stay get necessities before they travel to other parts of the country. They don't have anything. They, you know, not even shoes. The workers and volunteers here providing unique insight into what the country should be doing. I approach it outside of politics. Mindenall says his biggest issue is that there's just too much politics around this topic. Whatever your views are, the people who are legally permitted to stay here, he says, should be given more respect. There's a lot of people, a lot of migrants that come through here that have been separated from their family members. Mindenhall's wish of getting the politics out of this is unlikely to happen. The border is poised to be a major issue in the midterm election this fall. Early data shows 2022 will be very similar to last year when it comes to illegal border crossing attempts. In Holtville, California, I'm Joe St. George.